triple digit heat, excessive heat warning, long term drought. You know, as Arizonans, those are terms that we've become all too familiar with, right? But as humans, we know where to find water. We know that we need to stay hydrated. But what about these guys? You know, we have been encroaching on their territory for decades now, and it's making it more and more difficult for our precious wildlife to find water. But you know what? Arizona Game and Fish, they have come up with a solution. We've been talking about this for years now, but you know what? A lot of advancements have happened, and I'm very excited to introduce you to Michael Coliani. He is the Public Affairs Media Relations Director with Arizona Game and Fish. So let's talk about the drought. We're still in one, Michael, and this is something that we've been dealing with forever. How is Arizona Game and Fish helping wildlife stay hydrated? Sure, Terry. So what we really want uh, folks out there to know is that even if we have good rains in the winter, even a, a strong amount of rain in, our, in the spring, uh, we're in the middle of a two decade plus long drought right yeah. now. And so our wildlife are severely affected by that. And so to be able to provide 800 plus species of wildlife with millions of gallons of water is really is really uh, going to save a lot of lives out there on the landscape. Yeah, absolutely. And let's talk about what would happen if if Arizona Game and Fish didn't provide the water that they need. Sure. Well, think about it. If we had 3000 less spots across the state, for wildlife to be out there and receiving this life-saving water, that would really just impair their ability to survive out here and survive our really hot summer months. Yeah, I mean, we, we make it more and more difficult for them to find it, right? So the least we can do is help them find it, at least create the, the, the water source that they all need. Hey, this is Joe Curry. He is the Habitat Planning Manager program manager, and he's got a very long title and he's very important. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so Joe, hey, we've been talking about the catchments. How many catchments do you guys have here in Arizona? There's approximately about 3,000 of them across the whole state of Arizona. And this has become a necessity for wildlife, right? I Absolutely. mean, they would not survive without it. Correct. So what have you guys been doing over the last year? A lot, I know, a lot of advancements in technology and really in helping you all maintain these catchments, right? Right, um, so some of them are old, so they don't maintain themselves and some are self-sustaining like the one we're standing on right now. Mm -hmm. But the big thing that's happened lately is this new uh, implement right here beside me, which is called a ranch bot, a ranch which bot. measures the water level of mm -hmm. the catchment. Um, it was developed in Australia. It's been brought to the States. We were put this one in just after our segment last year and we've been testing it and it's doing really well. So we're going to start putting these out on at least out on the most remote and most hard to get to catchments. And this is not only for the wildlife so we can monitor the water easier, but it's also to help our personnel be safe also, because imagine hiking out to these once a month just to check the water level wow. in 100 plus degree weather. No. So now they'll be able to go to their computer and check the water level, and as long as everything's good, we don't have to worry about it. We can stay safe at our house yeah. and, and instead of and help, you know, going into the desert. And help the wildlife at the same time. And help the wildlife. But it does so many things. It, it also, um, because the maintenance of the water trucks, um, sometimes they're so remote, you have to get a helicopter. So right. this really saves a lot of time and a lot of, a lot money, of money, right? Yep. So you also have a big new truck, which is pretty cool. You call it the nursing truck. And what does that truck do? Right, so that truck is 4,000 gallons. And then we have our other water trucks, which are 1,700 gallons. So if we can take that 4,000 gallon truck and get it closer, because some of the water sources for us to get our water from are hours and hours away from the catchments. This will reduce our um, distance mm -hmm. of having to go, go get water. So we can, instead of doing one trip in a day, we can do three or four. Wow, that's huge, that's yeah. huge. I, I, I'm guessing the wildlife, if they could talk, they'd be thanking you right now, right, Joe? I would hope so. I would hope so. <laughs> well, it's because the advancements in technology are all because of your help, right? This is how we can keep our wildlife safe and hydrated. And here's how you can help. Give wildlife a fighting chance. Donate today. Visit sendwater.org.